Hi friends, this is Angela with Wild Violets Art. Be sure to click on subscribe or like on this video and feel free to visit my blog as well. Today I'm gonna to talk about some product that's in the mini catalog and celebration. And the reason I'm bringing up both is because there are items in the mini catalog that coordinate with celebration. And the one that I'm gonna be featuring is the Trees for Sale. The Trees for Sale is just a stamp set by itself in the July to December 2022 mini catalog. But the shocking and the most amazing part is that in the celebration from July 1st to August 31st is the tree lot dies. And if you take a look at it, look at all those dies. There are 24 dies that are free with a $100 purchase. So, so cute. So what I'm gonna show you today is how to make these really adorable little camper trailer gift boxes. And as you can see, they're not really very big. They're actually fairly small, but they're little vintage camper trailers and they can easily hold a gift. I plan to put something in the middle of a tear and tape roll so that it holds their individual tear and tape at my next class, but they also get a little, most likely a chocolate treat of some sort. So as you can see, these are 3D little boxes that have enough room. There's one inch by about two inches inside that is plenty of room for a couple of chocolates, a little s'mores pack, if it's one of those little mini ones, have these cute little banners on it. From the back, you're not gonna get as cute of a look just because some of the things are kind of hard to make backwards. Like the, you can't have these little pieces, but I'll show you that in a minute. This one, I was able to make the back silver, but uh, you just won't get quite that cute, distinctive look, so. Okay, so what I'm using is I'm using, I'm not gonna be using the Trees for Sale uh, stamp set. I'm just gonna be using the dies. So from the dies, and I use the magnetic uh, sheet, I get them from Amazon, and I use this die. This is the portion that's on the top of this trailer. You can see the little creases in it. The banner die, and then this is the little curtain. Super cute. I mean, there's so many other things that'll be fun for Christmas, but we can get into that at a different time. So these are the dies that you're gonna be using these for. And <clears throat> what I'm doing, it's not gonna make one that's just more like an Airstream, because Airstreams don't tend to have the, the ridges on the top and the bottom. So this one will just be a plain trailer. And for the back, it's gonna be another piece of silver, but I've taped over the window so that um, the silver piece stays in place. And then I've put a piece of vellum that will put the curtains on. So let me just put this aside. Okay, so once you've cut out two of the trailers, and depending on if it's just white, then you're just gonna be two, do, doing two of these trailers. One will be the inside, and then this will be the outside, and then this one will be the front facing. But if you're doing, like this is the, the silver foil specialty paper, the 12 by 12 pack, it has a number of different colors and it's got this really nice grain to it, which looks an awful lot like a, the silver that's on an Airstream. And I don't know if you've been in one of those, my husband and I, we rent them at different places, um, either at a campground or um, at a bed and breakfast type of thing. So I'm just gonna be making an Airstream and we're gonna make it 3D for <clears throat> the uh, treats. Okay, so just so you understand, this is going to be four inches by one and a half inches, and I'll have all these measurements in my blog. And you're going to be scoring at a quarter inch from one side and a quarter inch from the other side, and then one inch from one end and one inch from the other. So it's, I'll have a picture of this so you know what um, I'm talking about. So it's going to be four inches by one and a half inches, scored at a quarter inch from each edge on the long sides, and one inch from each end 
um, from the short sides, okay? And then what I do is I'll just fold over all these sides. And you can either, either use the thick or the heavy cardstock. I, I mean, thick or the regular cardstock. And I'm just using white. You can use any color you want. With it still folded over, I'm just cutting off little corners. Because when I put my box together, I need these corners to not get in the way of each other. So you can kind of see, okay. So what I'm gonna do first is, this is the Airstream one. I'm gonna put blue on this side. These little bottles are from Amazon as well. A girlfriend bought them for me. And I'm gonna place it so that it is right up against the bottom of the trailer and then over to the edge, the front edge and the back edge of the trailer. So if you wanna see a close up of that, you can see that I've gone up against the bottom of the trailer and then up against the front, but not hanging over and then you can just kind of press down on those so it stays. So once it's like that, then I'm just gonna glue this other side. And I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna line it up the bottom of the trailer. I'm gonna pull it out over to the edge. Same thing in the front. Once I have it about where I want it, then you can use your fingers to get everything to stick. And there you go. So I'm not completely done. Um, typically, I will add the vellum. I forgot to add the vellum first. So what I'll do is I'll take a little piece of vellum and it, it's about one and one eighth by three quarters inch. And I want this vellum so it kind of makes the inside of the, the trailer opaque. So you can see the little window? And I'll need a, another piece. I forgot about this little window. So I'll need another piece for that. Try to keep the glue off the silver. It makes it messy. Phooey. That's the bad thing about working with this glue. Okay. So once it's there, then I've already colored up a banner and the little curtain. Now this is when I think tweezers come in handy really nicely because our fingers just don't work like and especially when they have a little bit of glue on them. This is a little bit of piece work and if it's you know if that's not your thing that's okay. I ended up making 13 of these in just a few hours. Once I figured out a process, you kind of just, they go together really actually pretty easily. These ones I colored in advance. Normally the curtains don't need to be covered, um, colored. The next one I'm gonna make, I'm gonna show you. It's really easy. It doesn't need to have um, any special coloring because you're using actually the color of the trailer. And I'm just wanting it to swag from edge to edge. Okay, <clears throat> now as you can see, I have black tires and silver rims. So what I've done is I take this die and I'll just cut like the bottom portion of the trailer in the black and then I do it again in the silver and I'll show you why here in just a second. When I'm doing the white trailers, I use a piece for the hitch and I use it for the tires. When I'm doing the silver, all I need is the tire. So with this extra piece, I'm just cutting the tire off. And then the same thing, applying a little bit of glue. I'm 
Okay, so I've glued on the tire just to make sure that it's in the right spot. Then to do the rim, I'm gonna just cut out, and these are retired, but you can use a small, <clears throat> if you happen to have one that is, I don't know, I wanna say probably about 3 8 inch diameter or a little bit less like 5 16 or something like that but I use this little punch it's a little bit too big but um, what it does is it, it allows me to have the rim and then I'll take the rim that I've just cut out with the punch and I'll just cut out the rim <coughs> Again, this is fine work and it might be annoying to some, but these turned out so stinking cute. I'm going to use them for my next class for treat holders for all my attendees. I just, I love making something special for them. Obviously, as I, my business continues to grow and I have more class attendees, it'll be harder to do. <clears throat> but see, this one is more of an Airstream. This one is more of a vintage little canned ham. So... That's just a cute little trailer that is just adorable. So obviously the backside's not as cute, but I'm super happy with the ones that look like Airstreams. Okay, so I'm gonna make another one, but this is going to be one of these types of vintage trailers so that you can see that there's a couple extra little steps that I'm gonna do. So I'm using again the same four dies and so <clears throat> I cut out a scrap of black for the tire and a scrap of blue for the rim. Because as you can see, I like my rim to match the color of my vintage trailer, like it's been painted. I have two of the little uh, curtains, one banner, one top, one bottom, and a little piece of vellum. I'm using two of them for the two windows. And I'll need some more vellum for the, the round window, but I'll put that in later. And then again, I have the one and a half by four inch piece of paper that will make the box or the gift holder base. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the vellum on the inside of my little trailer. And that way it's easier for me to add my, my curtain later. Okay, so it's easier to put all these pieces on now rather than later. So I'm just going to glue on the top. And then I'm going to take and cut this off at an angle. And I'm going to cut off the tire. The tweezers make it so easy to place items right directly where you want them and your big old fat fingers don't get in the way. They're so much easier to pick up as well. <clears throat> now remember with this, I'm using this little punch it was a little trio of punches that was available years ago and is now retired. And I'm cutting out the rim. And then I just trim that off. So now that I have my hitch on and I got my tire on, now I can add this cute little piece. This would work as your, if, when you're making your trailers for your cards as well, 
Mm -hmm. Same process. We're just making them 3D for just that extra little bit of awesomeness. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I need to add the curtain. <clears throat> so again, these curtains are just die cut, all in color. You didn't have to color them. With the Airstream, I wanted to, to give it something unique just because they're so cute. You can use pattern paper too as well. If that's what you want to do. I'm just trying to make it simple for myself. Not have not too many pieces <clears throat> of items. You don't have to add the curtain to the back because it's not like the back needs to look as cute. And you can do the tire as well if you want to. I didn't for any of mine. It's just the front. <clears throat> you can if you'd like. Okay, so now that that's all done, again, I'm just gonna fold these over at the score lines and braise them with the bone folder. And I used my cutter to make all these score lines. When these are still folded over, just trim it off at a 45 degree angle. And then I fold them over. I start with the back. And I'm gonna glue this. Feel free to stop and rewind and if you just wanna watch first and then come back and go through it later. This, all the measurements are gonna be on my blog. So I'm lining up the box with the bottom of the trailer. <coughs> And then you can come back and press things down where you want them. And then I'm going to add the front. Again, lining it up. And as you can tell, the box is slightly smaller than my the front of my trailer but there's so many rounded edges I didn't want <clears throat> it to protrude out past the front of my trailer I mean it's not gonna be anything bad if it does but super cute okay now the only thing we need to do is add the banner this is actually Pacific Point and I should have mentioned that earlier <clears throat> because there's not any Pacific Point blends, I'm using the Night of Navy Light blend. And then I'm using the new in color um, Dark Tahitian Tide. And it just adds a little bit more of a, a royal blue to it <clears throat> to match the Pacific Point, so it's a closer match. And then again, I just glue where the banners are. I don't worry about the final little pieces. Get your tweezers out. See, two trailers in just a few minutes. Obviously I had everything cut out in advance, <clears throat> but you can see they go together really fast. So I hope you'd enjoy this. Be sure to subscribe to Wild Violet's Art or go to my YouTube or my blog and you can subscribe for emails and newsletter from my blog as well. Thanks so much. I appreciate you watching.